it's very important to know how to use programming languages to connect in a database. With Apache Cassandra, it's not different. So, it's very important to know how to use programming languages, such as Node.js, to make connection and data handling directly in the programming language. So, let's see how to use Node.js for this purpose. First of all, we have to install the Cassandra driver using the NPA, NPM process. Once Cassandra is installed, Cassandra driver, we can then create a variable for this class and based on that we can create a client informing the necessary parameters. Important parameters are what are the IPs or the, the roast names which your database are running, your database server. Then more specifically within this server what are the data center you are going to connect? Remember, a data center is a set of nodes that work together for replication purposes. One default data center name is data center one, when we have just one single example of database for, for working with. And then it's not necessary, but we have the out provider where we can inform the username and password. For this example, I'm working just in local machine, so I'm not using that. And once everything is correctly parameterized, then we can execute the a carry on the database and retrieve the data to the programming language. Here um, is important to know we ca can inform the, um, the carry and we can inform parameters to that and for avoiding, for instance, such SQL injection attacks, we can make the um, parameters being passed to um, statements, then they are being replaced automatically by the, uh, by the programming language. So here we are going to filter the first name and last name based in these parameters, it will be executed and the result set is going to be displayed in the, in the console. So just let's run this first example here and then now just stop in the current code. Let's take a look in our database. Here we have these three records in directly in our database console. So now I'm going to perform with a filter, just one single record with my name. Now executing that, what you have here, we have one single record being displayed because I have informed parameters for filtering. Now, if I would like to bring our records to, to the client, I could then perform the carry without filtering. And now um, I don't need to pass any parameter because I have no, no question mark in this string. And then the expected result is that we are going to have the full result set in Node.js. So now running again this code. We have here then the three records directly in Node.js. So here we have one work example of how to use Node.js to interacting with data stored in a Cassandra database. 